Those who deny the existence of the omnipotent God are deceived out and acutely ignorant, the ones that have deceived them into such state of unbelief. Acknowledge his existence and also fear and tremble even at the mention of his name. Hebrews 12, 28, 29, 9, 28, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful, and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. 29, for our God is a consuming fire. The great deceiver is on the prowl across the globe working hard, trying to convince as many people as possible, especially the young ones, about an awesome God that fire goes before to consume all his enemies. Deuteronomy 9 to 3, not 3, but be assured today that the Lord your God is the one who goes across ahead of you like a devouring fire. He will destroy them. He will subdue them before you. And you will drive them out and annihilate them quickly, as the Lord has promised you. A God who in the very beginning created the expansive oceans and the entire landmass that is home to almost 8 billion souls today cannot be driven out nor denied existence. Deuteronomy 10, 14, 9, 14 To the Lord your God belong the heavens, even the highest heavens, the earth and everything in it. Psalms 24 to 1, 9, 1 The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world, and all who live in it. So, when the human agents of devils drive prayers and Bibles off schools and institutions dot and allow places of his worship to run down, turning them into event centers, or labeling them as satanic on place, then the wrath of the creator of the entire universe cannot be averted dot and when hurricanes and tornadoes that are making landfalls is just a token sign of his displeasure and wherever you are in the world. It's high time to begin to ask for mercy and forgiveness. And may God forgive us all, while His mercy shall overwhelm each one of you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Enjoy your day. Amen.